Hey there, Eden here, and I wanted to show you a very nice project I found that demonstrates very nicely how to use LangGraph and the power of it. So it's called GPT Newspaper, and this project, what it's supposed to do is when we give it an input, for example, we want to search about the U.S. Supreme Court or Martin Luther King or any other topic, then what it would do, it would start a running this flow over here of running a search engine query, then getting some results on that topic and then filter those results and starting writing articles about that topic. So the interesting thing about the article writing is that we have here the write critique loop, which is going to revise our articles in iterations every time we have a critique, which is going to give us feedback on the article. So. It's very nice and we have here lots of agents work. Here are going to be LLM calls. Now let's have a look on the source code, which I think is nice. Now we have this agent directory and here we have the files for all the agents. Let's have a look at the um, critique agent. So this agent is going to critique our article and we can see it's getting the input of today's date, the article name, and the task is give a short feedback on the article and to give pointers of what can be fixed, etc. Simply making an LLM call. Now let's take a look at the writer. And the writer is simply an LLM call to write an article and return a JSON format article. And let's have a look on the search agent here. Here we're using Tavoli. Let me show you. And Tavoli is an amazing tool to connect the LLMs to the web to make search queries and to get information that we can later digest downstream in our application. So it has a very generous free tier as well. Better than Surf API in my opinion. Anyway, so those are the agents. Let's go back and take a look at our graph building. And we can see that every node here is going to be our agent, which mostly is going to be an LLM call. So after the search, we want to curate, so we want to filter all the results. And then we want to write the articles upon those results from the internet. And then we want to start writing. And after we write, we want to have a critique. Now this conditional edge is going to close the loop from the critique to the right. So the condition here to stop the write critique loop is that if the critique agent finds and accepts the article. So we can see that the critique agent will say whether this article is accepted or it needs some revision. We can see we have here the thread pool executor to run everything in threads in case we want to search and write about multiple topics. I personally would use here AsyncIO because most of the work here is going to be done in the LLM side and to generate the text from the LLM. So that would mostly uh, count on waiting time. So I would simply use AsyncIO for this. But overall, this looks like a very nice project to get you started uh, learning LangGraph. And I think what's cool about this project is this nice architecture, which can be easily implemented with LangGraph. And it simply demonstrates how we can build advanced architectures using LangGraph and flow engineering. Here we have a demo. So we're looking on a couple of topics. And here we can see at the end, the uh, end result, the articles. So if we'll go, this is about Martin Luther King. And this looks very nice in my opinion. And I think it's a great resource for starting learning about LangGraph. 